Encephalitis caused by West Nile virus continues to be a serious disease in horses in the United States and Canada. Spread by mosquitoes, the virus causes inflammation of the brain and spinal column. Clinical signs of the disease vary with the portion of the horse's brain or spinal cord that's initially affected and will change as the disease progresses. Some cases resemble early influenza with the horse exhibiting only a fever and mild depression. Others may develop muscle fasciculation or twitching on the face or body following stimulation. Affected horses startle easily and are often described as jumpy. Around 20% of the cases become resistant to being handled or touched. Paralysis of the tongue and lips is common, resulting in drooling and the inability to eat their feed. Many exhibit a lack of coordination, difficulty walking, blindness, and limb paralysis. Roughly 25% of the infected horses become recumbent and are unable to stand. Regardless of the treatment, 30 to 35% of the affected horses die or are humanely euthanized because they don't respond to treatment. Because antibiotics are not effective against viruses, Horses infected with West Nile virus are provided supportive care that includes anti-inflammatory drugs, corticosteroids, fluids, and interferon alpha to aid the horse's immune system in fighting off the disease. Rather than treat, the key is to prevent this disease through vaccination and mosquito control. Next week, we'll talk about your options in controlling this dreaded disease. For your horse's health, I'm Dr. Tom Lentz.